Hey there, this is Jamila at Lightspeed. Thanks for joining me in another tutorial. Today I'd like to give some advice on how to shop for a theme and how to install the theme that you have found that you like. Once you're logged into Lightspeed Ecom, go ahead and click on Design from the main menu. And once you're in the Design section, the first place that you will land is the Theme Editor. The Theme Editor shows you what theme you currently have installed. Ignite is the theme that I currently have installed. Ignite is Lightspeed's new updated theme. It came out on January 27th, 2021. If you purchased on that date or before, you might be using an older Lightspeed theme called Conform Plus. If you're watching this video today, I'd like to encourage you to update to our latest theme. And in this tutorial, you'll learn how to do that at the same time. The Edit Theme button that you see to the right here is where you can go and start customizing the theme that you have installed. Let's go take a look at shopping for other themes. Just below the Theme Editor, there's the Theme Store. Let's take a look. Now the theme store is where you come to install the theme that you want to have on your e-commerce. Now there's a lot of themes in this section because basically every single preset, every single demo of every theme that is available out there is in here. What I'd like to do is encourage you to visit themes.lightspeedhq.com. Let's go visit. This should be what you see if you visit themes.lightspeedhq.com. Now you might see that link somewhere around this video right now. Now this big pop-up that you see here right now is actually a great way to understand how to shop for themes. This is this week's most installed theme. It includes four different presets that you can go and visualize. So this right here is the default preset. And in order to really grasp how far and how different a theme can look and all the different features that it has, you should be looking at every single preset. If I switch from default to lifestyle, it'll show you how different that website can look. Let's switch from lifestyle to gaming and from gaming to fitness. Now you can see there's a little bit of common features along the way, but look at how different each of those four websites looked. And it's not just a little snapshot of the website. Fitness Preview. Now if I click that, it opens up in another page and allows me to explore the website as if I was a customer. Poke at these websites, click on things. That's what will give you a good, well-balanced understanding of that theme. This is just one of the four different demos available for this particular theme. Now it's not just that. Let's close this page. We also if we scroll past this, we have a filter on the left. So if you're looking for specific features or branding features, then feel free to check off the boxes of the things you care about to filter your results on the right. For example, I absolutely want an Instagram feed. I love Instagram. Let's check off that box. And to the right, these are themes that have that particular feature. One of my personal favorite themes is the voila theme right here. Go ahead and check it out. Beautiful theme. All you must remember once you've chosen a theme is the name of your theme. Let's go ahead and close this page because I've chosen voila. I'm back in my e-commerce. Let's head back to the theme store. And now I type in the name of the theme. If you know you're going for a dark website, go ahead and install the dark preset. I guarantee you will save some time. Once you've found the theme that you want to install, click buy this theme, and then buy this theme again. And that's right, a third buy this theme. The last thing I'd like to present to you today is the fact that if you install a theme, whatever you did to your previous theme is gone. It won't return even if you reinstall that theme. I'm going to install this theme, wait for it to complete, and when a theme is successfully installed, it brings you right back to the theme editor and shows you the theme that you have installed to the right. Don't forget about that documentation for your theme. That is extremely important not only to understand how to 
turn on and activate the bells and whistles, the features and functionalities that are in your theme, but also to gather image requirements and sizes. Only what you have done in this section, and in this section alone, is gone and lost if you switch between themes. If you've worked on your products, your categories, have you worked on your legal pages, your About Us page? None of that is touched. Only whatever you have done in this section, and this section alone, is gone. Choosing a theme and gathering two or three products to practice with are some of the first two things you should do when getting to know Lightspeed's e-commerce. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.